were taking place at Varsha Banglo Mega. Right, absolutely. Okay, Daryl, uh, there's more information pouring in and let's take a look at that. With Devendra Fadnavis will be taking oath as the Chief Minister of Maharashtra. This is going to happen at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be attending the swearing-in ceremony. There is going to be Union Home Minister Amit Shah, J.P. Nadda and the Chief Minister of the 22 states that are also going to be present. So this is a massive show of strength, Anand. Uh, the fact that the Chief Ministers of the... All the 22 BJP rule states are also going to be congregating in Mumbai at Azad Medan. There is going to be Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself. This showcases the kind of focus that Maharashtra gains. 288 of those seats, maximum of them have been won by the BJP. So BJP has been able to once again establish its dominance in this big state. Dominance in Maharashtra, and obviously the BJP won 123 seats out of the 139 seats it contested. And it was after 2014 that when it won 122 seats, the BJP was able to break the juggernaut that it got uh, 132 seats, the maximum, by it in Maharashtra in any of the assembly polls that were held in the last three decades. So clearly, looking at the massive mandate, the BJP wants to celebrate this victory in Maharashtra and thus it wants to give a message the way in which Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Union Home Minister Amit Shah, BJP National President J.P. Letta and all the 22 chief ministers of the BJP rule states have been invited. And if we talk about the Ajad Maidan, it has got the capacity of around 40,000 people over there. So uh, BJP has also prepared a separate bias, uh, the separate platform for the uh, religious people who will uh, the swearing in ceremony tomorrow, and thus uh, it will be a massive. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You, a huge okay. show of strength. You know, 22 of those 27 states that at this point of time are ruled by the BJP. This, uh, this in itself showcases the kind of prominence and spread that the BJP influence that BJP has, uh, especially after uh, those very precarious uh, results that came out. Uh, in the Lok Sabha elections where BJP could not even get through the halfway mark, although it stayed the single largest party with the maximum number of seats. Coming back to you, Daryl, we are getting more information over here.